and welcome to our lesson on finding the original amount after a percentage change. Before we begin, we need to remember the percentage associated to the original amount before a percentage change, and this is 100%. So in question A, we have 100% as a value of A, and we're adding on to this 20%. So, 120% has a value of £240. And we want to work out 100%. So, we're going to do this using a ratio of percentage to pounds, where 120% has a value of £240. And we want to work out 100%. To do this, we're going to work out 10% first, because 10 is a factor of both 120 and 100. So we're going to divide 120 by 12, and then we're going to multiply it by 10. And to keep the ratio balance, we will do the same to both sides. So we'll divide by 12. And we'll multiply by 10. So 240 divided by 12 is 20. So 10% at a value of 20 pounds. Then we can multiply it by 10. So the original 100% at the value of 200 pounds. Okay, for question B, we have percentage to pounds. And you can see. This is 100% and we are adding 15% onto that. So 115% at the value of £320. And we want to work out 100% which is the original amount. To do this, I'm going to work out 1% by dividing 115 by itself and then multiplying by 100. I'll do the same to both sides. Divide this by 115, and then multiply that by 100. So 320 divided by 115 is 2.7826. And when I multiply this by 100, I have 278 pounds, 26 pence. So 100% is equal to £278.26. Okay, for question C, I have a percentage and an amount, and you can see that 85% has an amount of £180. So this is now a reduction or a percentage decrease. So 85% at the value of £180. And to work out the original, I want to work out 100%. So again, I'm going to work out 1% by dividing by 85 and then multiplying by 100. I'll do the same to both sides. This will keep the ratio balanced. So 180 divided by 85 is 2.1176. And when I multiply this by 100, I get 211.76. So 100% the original amount is 211 pounds 76 pence. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and work out the original amount after an 8% increase, a 20% decrease, and a 9% decrease? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D, we have percentage and the amount. We can see 108% at the value of £15.80. So 108% and £15.80. 
we're going to work out 100%. To do this, we're going to work out 1% first. By dividing 108 by itself, and then multiplying that by 100. We'll do the same to both sides. So £15.80 divided by 108 is 0 0.1463 multiplied by 100 is 14.63 so 100% at a value of £14.63 ok for question E you can see we have 80% at the value of £260. So the percentage to the pounds, 80% and £265. We want to work out 100%. This time I'm going to work out 10% because it's a factor of both 80 and 100. So I'll divide this by 8 and I multiply it by 10. Divide this by 8. And then multiply it by 10. So 265 divided by 8 is 33.125. And I multiply that by 10 and we get 331.25. So 100% has the value of £331.25. And finally, for question F, we have a percentage to the amount, and we have 91% have the amount of £24.60. We can work out 100% by working out 1% first. We'll divide both sides by 91, and then multiply them by 100. So 24.6 divided by 91 is 0.2703 and multiply that by 100 we get 27.03 so 100% the original amount has a value of 27 pounds and 3 pence okay thank you very much for watching i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care